Hi, this is your very own news anchor, Dylan Marion. And I'm Riley Freiberger, and welcome to your student news. We'll be talking about important events that are upcoming in the future. We'll be starting with the following news. Mr. Lyons is back in business at Chartreuse Valley Middle School, so be sure to give him a warm welcome back. Just a reminder, all your book forms should be turned into homeroom teachers. School picture day is September 28th. Make sure to get your forms back to your homeroom teachers and retakes are always optional if you don't like your picture. The outdoor club is starting soon. It is only for 7th and 8th graders only. There will be a brief meeting in the Commons on September the 27th. Make sure to email Ms. Bennis if you have any questions. It will be $15 for a returning member and $20 for a new member. High School Homecoming Carnival is coming up on October 3rd. Students that want to go have to complete a permission slip to stay after school. Next up, we'll bring you live weather from our new thrilling weatherman. The one, the only, Ryan Chippich. Go ahead, Ryan. Um, how's the weather, Ryan? It's good. Um, <laughs> thanks, Ryan. Now it is time for our special feature of the week. have to ask the burning question. What's more rad, your mustache or Mr. Moscala's beard? I have to say Mr. Moscala's beard because I remember back when he had a short beard and long hair. So to go from that to no hair and a long beard is something. How long have you been teaching SUV? Uh, I was hired, it was the 1996-97 year and I was at the high school my first year half day. And then they asked if I wanted to stay half day or move to the middle school, so I moved to the middle school. It's been, I've been there ever since. So, when you were a kid, did you imagine yourself to be a science teacher? Not really. I mean, I always liked science, and I wanted to actually be a paleontologist and dig up dinosaur bones and study dinosaurs. Um, but, uh, you know, teaching science, you get to do a lot more than just that. Any secret talents? I can wiggle my ears. Oh, you want me to? Okay. There you go. <laughs> what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? I like just vanilla ice cream. Really? Yep, vanilla ice cream. How do you groom your mustache? How do I groom my mustache? I knew that would come up after the video last year. Uh, actually, I have a little comb, and then I use the razor and just trim it so it doesn't go in off. Can you say Staphylococcus 10 times fast? Right, I'll try. All right, you count. Staphylococcus, Staphylococcus, Staphylococcus. <laughs> Staphylococcus. Okay, I think that was 10. What most exotic animal would you get as a pet? Probably a snake. My, my son brought one home from school and uh, we had one for a little bit, uh, but it didn't work out, but I didn't mind having it. It was a corn snake. Yeah, it was, it was fun when we had to feed it dead mice. <laughs> so who do you think should be our next teacher teacher? Mr. K is very energetic, he'd be good. And uh, then I guess you'd have to get somebody in 8th grade as well. Alright, tell us what you think. Good morning, CVMS, and welcome to your weekly news. I'm Madison Crump. And I'm Lane Lester. And this is the CV Sports Minute. Many of CV's ambitious teams have just started their season, and our sports news will be giving you game scores, athlete interviews, and highlights. This past week, the boys' soccer team was in action twice and lost both times. They look forward to get back at it this week. The girls' soccer team, on the other hand, beat up on West Mifflin 6-2. In the football world, our 8th grade team rallied together and beat South Park 14-7. to 
while the seventh graders lost to Mount Lebanon 35 to 14. Hockey had a rough start with a 9-1 loss to a good wrinkle team. In cross country, Santa Riccardi, Owen Taylor, and Rachel White placed top five. And both of our volleyball teams lost this week. That's all we have for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.